Rule 42. Petition for review from the regional trial courts to the Court of Appeals. Section 1. How appeal taken, time for filing. A party desiring to appeal from a decision of the regional trial court rendered in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction may file a verified petition for review with the Court of Appeals, paying at the same time to the clerk of said court the corresponding docket and other lawful fees, depositing the amount of P500.00 for costs, and furnishing the regional trial court and the adverse party with a copy of the petition. The petition shall be filed and served within 15, 15, days from notice of the decision sought to be reviewed or of the denial of petitioner's motion for new trial or reconsideration filed in due time after judgment. Upon proper motion and the payment of the full amount of the docket and other lawful fees and the deposit for costs before the expiration of the regulatory period, the Court of Appeals may grant an additional period of 15, 15, days only within which to file the petition for review. No further extension shall be granted except for the most compelling reason and in no case to exceed 15, 15, days. N. Section 2. Form and Contents. The petition shall be filed in 7, 7, legible copies, with the original copy intended for the court being indicated as such by the petitioner, and shall, a, state the full names of the parties to the case, without impleting the lower courts or judges thereof either as petitioners or respondents b. Indicate the specific material dates showing that it was filed on time, c. Set forth concisely a statement of the matters involved, the issues raised, the specification of errors of fact, or law, or both, allegedly committed by the regional trial court, and the reasons or arguments relied upon for the allowance of the appeal, d. Be accompanied by clearly legible duplicate originals or true copies of the judgments or final orders of both lower courts, certified correct by the clerk of court of the regional trial court, the requisite number of plain copies thereof and of the pleadings and other material portions of the record as would support the allegations of the petition. The petitioner shall also submit together with the petition a certification under oath that he has not theretofore commenced any other action involving the same issues in the Supreme Court, the Court of Appeals or different divisions thereof, or any other tribunal or agency, if there is such other action or proceeding. He must state the status of the same, and if he should thereafter learn that a similar action or proceeding has been filed or is pending before the Supreme Court, the Court of Appeals, or different divisions thereof, or any other tribunal or agency, he undertakes to promptly inform the aforesaid courts and other tribunal or agency thereof within five, five, days therefrom. N. Section 3. Effect of Failure to Comply with Requirements. The failure of the petitioner to comply with any of the foregoing requirements regarding the payment of the docket and other lawful fees, the deposit for costs, proof of service of the petition, and the contents of and the documents which should accompany the petition shall be sufficient ground for the dismissal thereof. N. Section 4. Action on the Petition. The Court of Appeals may require the respondent to file a comment on the petition, not a motion to dismiss, within 10, 10 days from notice, or dismiss the petition if it finds the same to be patently without merit, prosecuted manifestly for delay, or that the questions raised therein are too insubstantial to require consideration. N. Section 5. Contents of Comment. The comment of the respondent shall be filed in 7, 7, legible copies, accompanied by certified true copies of such material portions of the record referred to therein together with other supporting papers and shall, a. State whether or not he accepts the statement of matters involved in the petition, b. Point out such insufficiencies or inaccuracies as he believes exist in petitioner's statement of matters involved but without repetition, and, c. State the reasons why the petition should not be given due course. A copy thereof shall be served on the petitioner. a. Gcash is a domestic online application which is the best app to use when paying bills. You can also invest in the stock market using this app and an app to buy life insurance. Try it now. See the link in the description of this video to get 50 pesos cash rebate. Section 6. Due course. If upon the filing of the comment or such other pleadings as the court may allow or require, or after the expiration of the period for the filing thereof without such comment or pleading having been submitted, 
the Court of Appeals finds prima facie that the lower court has committed an error of fact or law that will warrant a reversal or modification of the appealed decision, it may accordingly give due course to the petition. N. Section 7. Elevation of Record. Whenever the Court of Appeals deems it necessary, it may order the Clerk of Court of the Regional Trial Court to elevate the original record of the case including the oral and documentary evidence within 15. 15, days from notice. N. Section 8. Perfection of Appeal, Effect Thereof. A. Upon the timely filing of a petition for review and the payment of the corresponding docket and other lawful fees, the appeal is deemed perfected as to the petitioner. The Regional Trial Court loses jurisdiction over the case upon the perfection of the appeals filed in due time and the expiration of the time to appeal of the other parties. However, before the Court of Appeals gives due course to the petition, the Regional Trial Court may issue orders for the protection and preservation of the rights of the parties which do not involve any matter litigated by the appeal, approve compromises, permit appeals of indigent litigants, order execution pending appeal in accordance with Section 2 of Rule 39 and allow withdrawal of the appeal. 9a, R41. b, except in civil cases decided under the rule on summary procedure, the appeal shall stay the judgment or final order unless the Court of Appeals, the law, or these rules shall provide otherwise. a. Section 9. Submission for a decision. If the petition is given due course, the Court of Appeals may set the case for oral argument or require the parties to submit memoranda within a period of 15, 15, days from notice. The case shall be deemed submitted for decision upon the filing of the last pleading or memorandum required by these rules or by the court itself. N.